kijkt naar de sneak preview van de nieuwe bioscoopfilm Skyfall. I think what we've got in store will combine the best of Istanbul and of Turkey without falling into cliché. What you have here in Istanbul is an ever-changing, evolving city, and we're very much trying to capture the city as it is now. We visit Turkey in order to achieve what I hope will be a fantastic opening sequence. It's pretty varied in the sense that you've got um, the crowded streets and the marketplaces in the center of Istanbul, to the rooftops of the Grand Bazaar, to the Grand Bazaar itself, to railway bridges and tunnels, and. This is the end I've drowned and dreamt this moment So overdue I owe the I sat down with Sam and we talked about Bond. We talked about Live and Let Die being our first Bond movie we saw in the cinema. We talked about the early movies. We talked about golfing. And I felt an immediate connection to somebody who had exactly the same enthusiasm and respect for it that I did. We had to, we were going to shoot in London, we had to see parts of London we hadn't seen before, and also use the iconography, well, probably more than so than you would be able to do in most movies, because Bond opens a few doors, so we got the chance to close down Whitehall. We've used the London Underground, um, close down tube stations and things. Sam and I wanted to make it British, and it's not some flag-waving thing that either one of us is interested in. It's just about basing Bond in Britain. And it's very exciting just to get out onto the streets and show London for what it is. We've made it look very beautiful and very dark and sinister at times, but it's Bond's home. Well, we're here in Shanghai, and uh, the scene that we're shooting is the arrival of Patrice and Bond, and they go from the airport to where all the high-rises are. James Bond is tailing another character, which involves some cars on the highway. We're here behind me is uh, what's called the Yan'an Highway. It's a major arterial road in Shanghai, and it has this rather unusual blue light. Action! I don't think it's enough to just look pretty anymore. You know, that may well have been true in the past, but certainly not now. Bond girls don't look like models. They have their uh, specific uh, look, a look that fits to the movie. She is really a femme fatale. There is a complexity in, in, in this part, which I, I like very much. I've loved the Bond movies for so many years, and there are so many amazing, hugely talented women who have been Bond girls, so it's a huge honor to be part of that legacy, so I feel incredibly proud. And uh, I still can't believe that I have to pinch myself every day, pretty much. It's amazing. Eve is a field agent. She's very capable. She kind of sees herself as Bond's equal. She's not, but that's how she sees herself. I think it's very exciting if you actually do go out and, uh, in, you know, in places, and places that, that are the real thing. We tend to shoot in the more expected areas, but I hope in unexpected ways and from unexpected angles. So we are in Whitehall, and we are on Vauxhall Bridge, and on the embankment and at Smithfield Market, all those sorts of things. But to me, it's just about how you look at the place. It's just such a pleasure to be here, just in such a wonderful, welcoming place. The Turkish people have sort of welcomed us with open arms. It's just a very magical place for Bond to be. In.